as usual, I am waiting to the last minute to film this bins haul. So without further ado, let's get right into what I picked up. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and on other online platforms like Depop, Facebook Marketplace, and Mercari. And this is a bins haul. I already went for the month of March. And even though it was just last week that I went, as in five days ago, I already forgot most of what I picked up. I do know, however, that I got 27 pounds of textiles plus 1.8 pounds of books. Um, and my total is $54.90, which I'm pretty sure is right about the same as I got the last time I did a bins haul. But this was a pretty good day. Um, aside from the last haul where I got that little tiny brooch that ended up selling for $70, which was a mere $5 off of my asking price, which paid for the whole haul. Um, this is more bread and butter stuff that I love to sell. And I finally got some Lululemons because the bins have been dry in the Lululemon department. I haven't found any until this trip in March. So let's get started. I have two bags next to me, but first we're gonna talk about this from the cover photo. This is what appears to be a Fendi item. It was in the bottom of a mesh bag that was full of ties. Um, my friend Jess, who I've been going to the bins with, was at a different bin and she pointed to the bag and she's like, I wonder what's in there. So I grabbed it and it was a bunch of ties. There was one Christian Dior tie in there, but the rest of them were like Michael Kors and things like that or Express. There was a lot of Express ties in there. And then at the bottom was this box and it has a new belt in here. I didn't know what to do. I was so excited that it potentially could be real that I kind of just carried it on my person for the rest of the trip. Um, but then I really started inspecting it. I also sent pictures to my friend, uh, my local reseller friend, cause she sells a lot of like luxury items. And yeah, it's definitely not authentic. You can see here, it says yellow. A Fendi item would never just be saying the, uh, the color at the bottom of the box. So that is the first clue. It is new, like I said though. Um, I am still gonna list it, but not on like Poshmark Mercari. Unless one of you guys wants it, then by all means, just send me a message either on my in my email um, or send me a message on Instagram, post a comment with a way to reach out to you if you guys want it. Otherwise, it's probably gonna go on Facebook Marketplace. But it's a belt and the F logo on the belt should be bigger. It should almost reach the outer edges of the belt. Um, but the stitching looks good. The buckle looks good. It does have Fendi down here on the buckle, but I'm pretty sure this is not authentic. There's no size on here, but if you're interested, I can certainly measure it and give you a length. So that was kind of disappointing, but I don't know. I just. On the off chance that it's real, I might as well pick it up. I don't know what I spent average cost of goods for this haul if I figure it out by the time this video goes up since I'm filming the day of its release. On brand for me. Um, I will put it on the bottom of the screen. Okay, then like I said, I got 1.8 pounds of books which are 50 cents a pound at the New Hampshire bins where I go. And these are all going to my pregnant friend who's also the one that was helping me authenticate the Fendi. I got a Patriots 101, Jess found that. Jess also found the 100 words for little geeks. She is having a boy by the way, so I've been trying to find boy stuff. And then good night little blue truck, I think that's what that says. So these are gonna go to her. And then I got this yoga Pilates wheel for myself. The brand is Chirp. It says Chirp Wheel Plus. They have a couple different sizes on the website from what I understand. It also says Chirp here. There was another one in the bin, but someone else had grabbed that one uh, before I could get to it 
and I'm just gonna keep this for me for my yoga and Pilates workout on the Peloton app. Okay, I don't think I got that many hard goods, but I've been wrong before. <laughs> First, we have this little glasses case. It says Wiley X on the case. And then there's these little, little glasses in here. Nothing crazy special. It says Air Rage Wiley. Um, and I, this comes off. I don't know if that's supposed to. I'm not familiar with this brand or this style of glasses. No, I think they just, yeah, they just pops, pops right in there. So that's no problem. Air Rage Wiley XZ87-2. I don't know if that's the style or what. Um, it also has a little strap here and the protective spectacles information booklet. So I think I can get maybe 20 to 25 for these at minimum. So good pickup from, from the bins. Then I also picked up this Dunkin' Donuts visor. I like to pick up employee stuff. It generally does pretty well. This is an older. Uh, it doesn't have a year or anything, but since they're just Dunkin' now, not Dunkin' Donuts, this is before they made the changeover, but I still think it will do okay. I've seen some Dunkin' Donuts employees still wearing the double D stuff. All right. I'm trying to pick out some clothes here. Oh. Okay. I also picked up this watch. I don't know if it works. I kind of just threw it in here. The brand is Invicta. Looks vintage for sure. And it does say Copperhead Snakeskin Invicta. Uh, that was another reason why I got it. It has a number 16 here on the back of the band. I don't know what that means. I don't really... I don't really dabble in watches too much, but I thought this would be cute. And if I don't want to list it on eBay or in Poshmark, I could probably just bring it to my booth. I also got this plushie. Uh, I forget what the brand is cause it's cut off. I think it's a German brand. It's not Stife, but I believe it's a German brand. I'll put it on the screen for you, but the comps looked decent on this maybe 30-ish, it's a little kitty with like patchwork. I thought it was cute. Um, so another good bin find. Then let's get into some clothes. This I thought would be good for Depop. I know this has had a resurgence because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I think Dolls Kill is now the owner of this brand. It is Delia's. I don't know if this is a new tag or an older tag from the 90s Y2K era, Sly, size <laughs> small. It's a little cami tank top with the draped neck and it's like a rainbow tie dye. Again, I think it'll do well on Depop. This is just a Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett t-shirt size large, but I know uh, he has since passed and people do like his his merch. So it's just plain on the front with the little Margaritaville and then the back has the parrots. And it says fins to the left, fins to the right. Oh, it says 1997, but I don't know if that's just the lyrics or if that's the graphic. It's not single stitch. So I'll have to do some research on that. This is a sports bra from Brooks, which is a running company. They make sneakers as well that do pretty, pretty well on the resale market. This is a seamless style and it's a size medium and the tags don't look like they ever have seen the inside of a washing machine. So it was in good condition for me to pick up maybe 18, 15 to 18. All right, we have some athletic wear, my favorite category to buy and sell. This is Gymshark size medium. I believe this is men's and it's also their old logo that they don't use anymore. So it does have the shark, you know, with his big, big shark bicep there. And it says Gymshark Fitness. It's just a mu muscle tank. I don't think that'll go for a lot. Gymshark has kind of declined for me. 
This is Figs, super soft size large. Figs is a Scrubs brand, but this is not Scrubs. I didn't know they made other things, uh, but I figured I'd still try it anyway. And this is a long sleeve tee that says love wins on it. Just a white tee, hashtag love wins. There's nothing on the sleeves and the back is pretty plain except for it says threads for threads. I think that's what, yeah, threads for threads right here. It does have some slight discoloration on the underarms, but I'm gonna try to get those out. If I can't, it's not really a huge loss. Here is an Athleta bra, size small, and this one is from 2017, holiday of 2017, so a little bit older than I would normally pick up at a traditional thrift store. You guys, oh, you guys should know by now that almost anything goes at the bins. So like a mesh back, and are these cutouts or just no? I thought they were cutouts, but it's just like a little mesh panel on the back there. All right, these I'm gonna save for later because there's quite a few of them and I wanna go over them all at the same time. This is Kalia, which is Carrie Underwood's activewear line, but I'm pretty sure she is not part of that anymore. This is a size large, which is really the only reason I picked it up because I don't, I don't really source this brand. It's like a light purple quarter zip pullover. It's in really good condition in a larger size, so that's a yes. I've never sold this brand before, um, but the comps looked okay, 2530. It's Young LA. This is a size medium. Um, they sell other stuff too, but this is kind of like an active, active tee, seamless, short sleeve. It's purple. I want to say it's a women's medium because this looks pretty darn small for a man, but I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Okay, what are you? Okay, more of these. So I'm gonna put that there. Here's another Athleta piece. It's a size medium. I don't know when this one is from. This one looks newer. Yeah, this one's from summer of 2023. So just about a year, a year old. It's a white T with the V neck kind of like a cap sleeve and then the back is split in the back. So I'll just look up the style, but newer piece, it's in really good condition. So definite yes. All right, it's been a while since I found this brand. It is Cool, K-U-H-L. I know there's also K-U-L-E Cool, which is like a higher end Madewell which I've never found yet, but I know it exists. This is a size medium, green, kind of like a polo. It's like army green. There's a little cool logo there on the sleeve. I don't think this is women's. I'm pretty sure this is men's, but yeah, another maybe $25 sale. This is a super old pair of Lululemon Crops, I think these are crop wonder unders. I haven't, I haven't done any research on them, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. They need a really good sweater shave. And these are a size 10, older size dot, but they do have uh, the letters, so that'll be even easier for me to look them up when I go to list them. Okay. That's it for the first bag. I also picked up this bag there. It's like a pride love bag. Moving on to the other one besides the t-shirts, which I will get to later. All right, I got two pairs of jeans from this brand. If you watched the short that I did from this binge trip, then you probably already know what they are. But the brand is, I was doing up the buttons. This is Judy Blue. I love selling this brand. These are a size five or 27. They have an exposed button fly. They are a skinny fit, but that's okay. I do still sell skinny jeans. They have some distressing and like a raw chewed hem. So I think these will still do okay. 
even though Skinny is not the best seller anymore. This is just an ACDC, ACDC band tee, size small, medium, not vintage, obviously. It's got a screen printed tag. It's like acid wash with the graphic on the front and then it has the 76 tour dates on the back. These I grabbed and will probably send to the Real Real because they are rag and bone. They're also white, <laughs> size 25. Style is the Dre Capri, which Dre is their skinny style. They have a step hem where it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. Some distressing. And for a white pair of jeans in the bins, they look pretty good. So yeah, those are going straight to the Real Real because I paid so little for them that I don't care if they sell them for $30 and I get like seven bucks. <laughs> um, this is Free People, which I'm super picky with. Size extra small. I'm pretty sure I found like two Free People skirts in the bins and I gave them both to Jess. But I thought this one was, was a decent enough style. It's another white item, but it has like this eyelet bubble sleeve here. And then the back has some embroidery at the neck. Uh, there is a little bit of discoloration on the inside of the neck, probably from someone's makeup, but it doesn't go out to the outside. Oh, the front's also embroidered at the neck. Uh, so I thought this was cute enough for me to grab from Free People. We have a bra. It might not be the only one in here because I've been picking up a lot of bras at the bins and they've been selling really well for me. I've sold almost all of them that I've picked up. Okay, what is happening here? I'm trying to close it and it, it's tricking me. Okay, <laughs> here is the bra, little like keyhole in the front, sheer underwire. And this is from Soma. It's a size 36C, the Unbelievable Lift Scoop Balconette. Here we go. I picked up this tiny little calico critter because I thought maybe my daughter would like it. She's been collecting, collecting some of them, but she didn't want this one and she didn't tell me until after I already left the bins. So I came home with it anyway. I did pick up a hat and I think I'm going to sell this at my antique booth. It's kind of like Southwestern with the little, the birds. They have a name for these birds. I don't know what it is. It's escaping me right now, but they're silver with the little like faux, I think this is faux leather strap. And it says crushable water repellent. The brand is probably gonna be hard to see. Elon Blanc. It's, it's inside the rim here, Elon Blanc. I think you guys can see that. I don't know anything about this brand. I didn't really see that many comps, if any. This is a size medium, 100% wool. But yeah, I, I thought it was cute. So I'm gonna throw that in my antique booth. A couple bins trips ago, I got a Scentsy Buddy, like a clip, and I found another one. Here's the tag. The other one was Frankenstein, and he still hasn't sold, but maybe closer to Halloween. This one's a little turtle. He does still smell. I don't know what his scent is, uh, but he does smell. Same with the Frankenstein one. Okay, this is a new to me brand. It is called, where is the brand? Inside, I believe. It's called Psycho Tuna. There it is, this is a one size, and it's new with tags. It was $30, Psycho Beanie, tie-dye. Here's another little little tag right here. And I should be able to get about $20 for this since it is new. I don't know where they sell that brand. If you know, please feel free to leave it in the comments. All right, here's one of the ties that I grabbed. This one is Michael Kors. Uh, here's the MK down here and then the brand tag. Michael Kors, and it's just, the only reason I got this one because I don't really pick up much Michael Kors is because it's solid black, so that's like a staple. 
All right, I um, don't know anything about this, but it is Nike new with tags and it has the Marshalls tag, which I will take this off. I will leave the Nike tag, but take off the Marshalls tag. It was $16.99 at Marshalls, compare at $35. And it is Nike Golf, which they do not make anymore. So it's just like a zip hanging like toiletry bag. It has a little hanger here. So I think this will do, do just fine. It's not zipping too well at the moment. I know it zips closed because I tested it at the bins and it has a little Nike symbol here. And apparently it had a little Sony headphone pouch in there. I didn't know it was in there, but that's fine. I'll just donate that. All right, next we have a Kanye West tee. It doesn't have a size that I can see, but it's the college dropout with the bear. It's cropped. I think the person who owned it cropped it. I don't think it's intentionally supposed to be cropped. And it says Kanye West. On the back, I know people like this kind of thing, so this might be another one that's good for Depop. This is a Lululemon bra. I want to say this is probably either the Energy bra or the Free to Be Wild bra. I've sold quite a few Lululemon bras in my day, and this one is a size. Where are you? Where are you? all the emo millennials. I don't know what the size is. I want to say it's like a four, but of course I can't, I can't find it at the moment. It should be in the left cup. It does have a little bit of marks right here, but I think those will come out fine in the wash. This is another new brand to me. Comps look pretty good on this. The brand is called Tracksmith. This is a women's medium. And this looks like it will go for around 35, which is great for what this is, a tank top. Um, anytime I can sell a tank top for $35, it's a yes. It also says Tracksmith down here. I only looked this up because it just seemed to be high quality. I don't know if that's, I think it's still blurry, but anyway, kind of like a muscle tank top for women and be right back because my camera is about to <laughs> run out of memory. Okay, so if you are not new here, um, you would know that my camera only records in like 20-ish minute segments, so I had to just pause the video and come back and restart. So, next item. I definitely showed this in the short. It's a vintage Doodle Bear. I loved mine. I'm pretty sure I had this exact one because I was 100% a purple person. When I was a kid, uh, it says Doodle Bear here. So basically, you just, you can draw and write all over this thing with markers and then wash it and it comes out looking new. This one does have a couple stains on the back, but I'm gonna just try and wash it and see how it comes out. Does this have a date? Yeah, 1994 Doodle Bear. I also got a Britney Spears pop. Um, I don't know if she's really worth much, but I couldn't I couldn't leave Miss Britney in the bins. She does have a few marks on her face, but in my experience, those come off pretty easily with like a magic eraser. I got a few, well, not a few, a couple Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. This one has the tag. I don't, I don't know what any of the Five Nights at Freddy's characters are called. Uh, this one's not Funko, I don't think. Oh, it is. Funko 2016. I know these can be faked. I have found a fake one before, so I haven't done any research on this, but since it has the tag, I think it might be okay. And some of these can go for hundreds of dollars. I don't know if these two are worth much, but I also found this creepy clown thing. Uh, he also has the Funko 2016, so it must have came from the same, the same run of Five Nights Plush. Chris, if you're watching and you know anything about these, please leave it in the comments. I love you forever already, but I will love you even more. Because <laughs> I know Chris, the Cajun reseller, sells quite a few of those plushies, which is how I know to pick them up. 
All right, I also got a handful of Tsum Tsums. I sell these every time I come across them in the bins. I pick them up and I sell them at my antique booth for $3 a pop. I'm not making a lot of money, but they go pretty fast. And these, I'm pretty sure, are all Star Wars except for one, which is the Hulk. Uh, so Marvel, and it's got the Disney tag. Tsum Tsum in Japanese uh, is Stack Stack, so they're meant to be able to stack on top of each other. They make plush ones, they make vinyl ones. My daughter used to collect them. And I don't know what any of these Star Wars characters are. Here's one. Here's another one. This one still has its tag. Again, I don't, I don't know. This one has a lightsaber. And then we have this one. I think, is this Obi-Wan? I think this one might be Obi-Wan, but yeah. So we have all of those. There might be more in here, not quite sure. I also grabbed a pair of smart wool socks, which a lot of people think that's gross to find socks in the bins, but these don't look like they were ever worn. And also I have a washing machine in my house, so I'm just gonna wash these and these are gonna be mine anyway, so that's fine. All right, here is the Christian Dior tie. I've been picking up so, so, so many ties at the bins in 2024. So far I've only sold one of them, but they're so lightweight, they cost a few cents at most. And this one is like a paisley, I think this is paisley. I'm not, I'm not the best with prints, but it's an excellent condition, silk tie, Christian Dior. Someone will want it. There's, it's not gonna go for a lot, probably under $20, but someone will want it. All right, I grabbed another few items. I grabbed these. It's not a brand that I often pick up, but I think someone will want these. It's Polo Ralph Lauren, size extra large. Being extra large, that was one of the reasons I picked these up. I also think that some, some Chad will want these. They have like rainbow colored ponies on them, embroidered. They're in excellent condition. One flat pocket, one button pocket. No offense to anyone who's a Chad. It's just an easy way to describe a person who might be into that sort of thing um, without going into much detail. If you know, you know, kind of deal. No judgment. Uh, this is a bra from Natori. I like to sell Natori bras. I've sold quite a few of them at this point. Uh, this one's a 38 triple D. So a great size. It is underwire. I mean, it's not really much you can say about bras. The bras are bra the bras. They're necessary. Okay, we have Intimately Free People. I don't know what size this is. I cannot see the size, but I will just measure. Not a big deal. There's the label. It doesn't say the size on this, I don't think. No. Another one that might be cute for the Depop. The Depop girlies, it's like a crochet little crop. It's basically like a little crop bra top. With the V-neck. All right, this is from Free People Movement, size small. I like selling Free People Movement, but my thrift stores price it up these days, so I haven't picked it up in quite a while. And these are some little little shorts, yellow color. They are lined, yeah, they have the built-in panties. And I did check the crotch to make sure they weren't gross. Check your crotches, people. <laughs> uh, this, I, this is the brand Mentality, but the logo is just an M. I'd never heard of this brand before. It's also a size medium. I like the graphic. I think I'm going to snag this for myself, um, but I, I'm sure I could sell it. It might actually be worth something. I don't know. It says the wolf on top of the hill is not as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. Um, maybe I will put some comps on the screen if I were going to sell it so you guys have an idea in case you come across it, but it's going to stay with me at least for the time being. This brand I shared in my short 
Uh, it is on my list of brands I wanted to manifest in 2024, so I have officially checked off the first brand. It is Jen's Pirate Booty. Honestly, never expected to find this in the bins in New Hampshire. I don't know what size this is. On the back it says how to wash it, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what size. Oh, it's a size small. It's in here. It's been so long since I've found one of these. 100% cotton made with love in Mexico. And it's another like boho crop top with the layered ruffle. This would be so cute for festival season like Burning Man and all of that type of thing. All of their styles pretty much are. Uh, then I found these Carhartt shorts that almost definitely were pants at one point that someone just decided to crop. They are a longer length short though, and they are a size 28 waist, I believe. The size was hard to find. It's like attached to the pocket on the inside. Um, yeah, size 28. So, might be another good Depop item. I'm trying to get more into selling things on platforms that aren't Mercari, I mean that aren't Poshmark and eBay. Oh, I do have another Tsum Tsum. I think this is like, I don't know if this is Princess Leia. Probably not because she doesn't have her two space buns, but I don't know who this is. I don't watch Star Wars. I've seen like the original ones and then the trilogy with uh, Christian and Hayden, no, Hayden Christensen, that's his name, I think, and Natalie Portman. I've seen that trilogy and the original, and I've never seen anything else besides those. We have one more tie. This time it's YSL, Yves Saint Laurent neckwear. Silk tie. This one's also patterned. But again, they, they weigh pretty much nothing, so. I pick them up when I can find good brands. This was the first item that I grabbed at the bins. These are Lululemon shorts. And this is a good example of why I do not wear gloves at the bins. Every time I post a short of a bins trip or a bins haul, someone yells at me about not wearing gloves. This is why I choose not to wear gloves because I feel the fabrics and I felt this and I instantly knew that this was Lululemon. So it saves me some time from having to search for the little logo, which on these is very tiny. And so I'm able to just feel it and know what it is and I throw it in my car or my bag that I carry around with me. These are a size medium. It also works well for like linen fabrics or cashmere. I will never wear gloves at the bins because I want to feel the fabrics. If I touch something gross, it is what it is. I'll get over it. Um, okay, and we have another Intimately Free People. This one's an extra small. I already showed you guys the tag. This is a bra top. It's black lace. Here we go. Sheer lace back. Boho, cute. This is also, I think, Intimately Free People. Yep, this one's an extra small, small as well. So I'm gonna assume that that little crochet top is probably from the same person. And it's also an extra small, small, because this is another little cropped bra style top. This one's blue with like a shimmer and it has this little like square cut out in the back. Here's the other pair of Judy Blue jeans. These are a size 15 or 32. So probably not the same person since the other ones were I think like a 527 or something like that. These are blue jeans and these are relaxed fit though it, the little label here has kind of come off a bit. Almost done. Okay, this is aloe size large. I haven't tried to figure out if this is men's or women's yet. It's probably men's if I had to guess gray and black color block and then it has the logo in the middle of the back but yeah let's see if i hold it up to myself oh well, it's most definitely men's because the sleeves are super long all right free people movement this is a medium large 
little crop top again. This is kind of like a, it's not seamless, but it's ribbed, so it kind of feels like a seamless material. Here's the Free People Movement logo right here on the back of the neck. All right, we have some J. Crew shorts. These are a size 31, not a brand I often pick up. I will only grab it at the bins. But these are maternity shorts with the little, little things to accommodate the belly here. And I thought these were adorable. They have a little raw hem here. And they are from, I think they're fairly recent. Yeah, spring of 2022. So fairly recent and maternity does well, that's a yes. All right, just a handful of items and then we'll get to all those t-shirts. This is another thing that I think might do well on Depop. I mean, it can certainly sell other places, but this is LAT Sportswear. I think I think that's what this label says. This is a vintage tank. It's got a lettuce hem at the bottom. It is for Bike Week 2000 Daytona Beach. Some girly will want this, absolutely. Okay, what are you? Oh, this is Patagonia. It's gonna be hard to see the label size small Patagonia I'm pretty sure this is men's it's like a little short sleeve button like kind of like a Henley with a little pocket there blue nothing crazy special Patagonia doesn't do the best for me anymore but I will pick it up there these are going straight to the child this is the brand lazy one these are a size large she's been loving these she wears them to school they are pajama pants that have moose eating s'mores on them. And it says, give me a s'more sleep, please. Sorry, s'more sleep, please. So yeah, those are going to her. I also found a pair of Lululemon Dance Studio pants. I don't know which exact style these are, but these do really well for me. This is probably my best selling Lululemon item. Here's the little logo here. I think most people missed it because it, it's not tone on tone, but it's pretty dark. So it's a little difficult to see. And what size are you? I don't remember. I think it's in the left pocket. Here it is. These are an extra large. So these could even be men's, men's dance studio pants, which would make them even better. All right. Couple more things before we get to the tees. This is Harley Davidson. It's a size extra large. And it's just a button front short sleeve shirt. It's purple. It has text on the back. It's more faded on the back, I think intentionally, but you can you can see it a lot more on the inside. It says Harley Davidson motorcycles since 03. So uh, this also reminds me of a little <laughs> story time from the last bins haul that I forgot to share with you guys. Um, so at the New Hampshire bins, when the clothing is rolled out, they just roll it out while people are shopping versus the hard goods, which they make you wait like behind a line and then they roll them out and you have to go to like the middle part of the store and wait until they roll out the new bins and then they let everybody go at the same time. It doesn't work that way for the clothes everyone, they just start moving them. And if you notice it, you wait in an area and then they roll out the bins. So the bins rolled out. I was standing in a spot. I just pick a random spot to stand and I just deal with whatever gets rolled out in front of me. And all of a sudden, as they were rolling out bins, these two individuals literally raced over to where I was, bumped the lady next to me out of the way, didn't even apologize that they just blatantly stood in front of her where she was standing um, because there was a Harley Davidson t-shirt in the bin. So I was not having that. <laughs> so when they said everybody could go, I reached for that immediately and I had my hands on it and this grown ass man, let that sink in, a grown ass man was trying to physically, he physically put his hands on my fingers as I had the, I had the shirt like this 
in my hand and he was trying to pry my fingers off of this garment so he could have this stinking t-shirt. It wasn't even that great of a t-shirt. It was vintage, yes, it had an eagle on it, cool, awesome. But I mean, the comps, when I looked it up, not that great. And I was so upset that he was literally trying to take my hands off of this piece of clothing that cost $2 a pound. Like, guys, it's not that serious. I understand that it's, you know, how people make a living. I do it part-time as well to supplement my income, but like, come on, this is ridiculous. So he's trying to take my fingers off and I just keep pulling the thing and he's like, well, I have my hands on it. Oh, cool, so do I. So what do you, what do you wanna do here? Um, and I was already here, first of all. It rolled out in front of me. You guys ran over here from wherever the hell you were because you saw a Harley Davidson t-shirt. And he's like, oh, well, we're missing out on a bunch of other good stuff. I'm like, I'm not missing out on anything. I'm still looking with my other hand while I ha I'm holding this t-shirt. So finally he says, okay, well, if you hold it, how about we, I'll let you hold it, but how about we do a coin flip? And I said, okay, well, I guess that's fair since we are both touching this one piece of clothing, um, even though I was here first, but never mind, I'll, I'll at least do a coin flip for it, for it. So he let me hold it, then he came over again in a few minutes after he went looking through some other bins, and he's like, let me see the tag, so I at least know if it's worth it to do the coin flip. So I showed him the tag, and he's like, okay, cool. Well, I didn't have a coin, so he went to go find a coin, and he let me pick, you know, heads or tails, I picked tails, it came up heads, so I gave him the shirt. All that to say, like, don't be a jerk at the bins. Like, come on. We're getting cheap clothing, we're getting a deal, it's not that serious. Also, don't put your hands on another person. Be a decent human being. And then, after, so after he got that shirt, he took off, he left the bins. Like, so all that just for one t-shirt that's really not even worth that much money. So. Oh, I was so, so mad. I was like raging that day. But I forgot somehow to share that story with you from the last binge trip, but Jess felt bad for me. So she bought me a Starbucks on our way home because there's a Starbucks like right across from the bins in New Hampshire. Anyways, moving on. And by the way, let me know in the comments down below if you ever have had an experience like that at the bins, wherever you go to the bins, because ugh, it's just, just ridiculous. Okay, so I got this little Athleta pouch thing. I thought it was going to be a mask at first, um, but it has a string. Well, that's why I thought it was going to be a mask, because it has the string, but it has a zipper, and it's just like a little a little pouch. Um, I don't really know what use this would be for. I mean, you can only fit like maybe a couple cards and keys in here. Uh, it does have a style number, though, and it's from 2020. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I just grabbed it, because it weighs a couple ounces at best. All right, then I also found in that same bin that I found the Athleta pouch and the YSL tie, I found this Longchamp wallet. I don't have much experience with Longchamp other than what's been sent to me in thread up boxes, but here is the logo. It looks good. Um, it also has Longchamp here embossed on the inside. I don't know, it's not, there we go. Um, it feels nice. It's got, you know, card slots in here, money slot in here, but I don't see any other tags. I don't know if there's something I should be looking for. However, inside of it were a few cards. One was like a ski lift card. The other one was a J. Crew coupon that expired in like 2018. And the other card was someone's yacht club membership. So I'm guessing some yacht club lady had this Longchamp wallet and she got rid of it with all her cards still inside. It also has like the little coin coin pouch in here. It's a little dirty cause you know, money's gross. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if this is legit. I'll have to do some more research, but the stitching all looks good. So Longchamp wallet. All right, and I have to pause again because another 20 minutes has gone by. So sorry this one's long, but it's a decent bin haul. So I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully this is the last bit of this video. Sorry for the multiple segments. <sighs> All right, this is a great brand, literally. 
the great. This one had a store tag on it. This is the only item I picked up that had a store pull because there is a retail location right next to the bins in New Hampshire. And so a lot of the times if they don't have raw donations, they will pull old items from the store itself and put those in the bins. And they wanted $15 for this, if I remember correctly, and it ended up in the bins. So this is a size two. I don't know if that's vanity sizing, so like a size medium, or if that's just a straight size two but I will have to look it up. I've only sold this brand one other time, I believe, if not maybe twice, um, so. But it can do pretty well. I might be able to get around 50 for this basic top. It's plaid. It's kind of like lagging look to me with kind of almost a peplum hem at the bottom. It's very nice feeling fabric. And I didn't see any, it's got a little keyhole here. I didn't see any flaws on this. I still don't, um, and it's 100% cotton. It's still got the little extra button. Do they have style names on them? I don't think so, but I'm sure I can probably Google Lens it. So I was really excited for this. And then we have a bunch of t-shirts. Um, I think four of them are from the same brand. One, two, three, four. So I'll leave those for last. And then I have three other branded t-shirts. Okay, this one is Aespa, I don't know. It's a size 2X. I probably just butchered that. It's pretty nondescript from the front. And then the back has a graphic. I guess this is a K-pop band. That's my understanding. So this is like a band tee. I don't know how desirable that is, but I figured I'd grab it anyways. This brand is called Rucking Foughten. It's a, also a 2X. This brand does like a, from my research, my limited research in the bins, they do like spoof parody tees. I don't know what this is supposed to be for, so if you do, please leave it in the comments. But these shirts can go 50 plus, uh, depending on the graphic. So I was happy to grab that. This one I can't find anything on. It's C-H-X-M-I-C-A-L-O-V-E-R. So like chemical lover, but the E in chemical is an X. And it's a double XL. But I've tried looking up this name and I can't, I can't find anything. But I think the graphic is really cool. So I picked it up, obviously. I'm showing it to you. And it says chemical lover again at the bottom. Nothing on the back. It's white. There's not really any underarm stains, maybe a slight amount. And it does have like exposed, like the seams are exposed and raised. All right, so the four t-shirts I have, they're all from the same brand. Just found, I think one other one. And I went back in the bins, but I didn't find any more. So I, I don't know, but the brand is called Drop Dead. I had never heard of this brand. I just saw the cool graphics and I picked them up. The tags are all split like this. One says drop, one says dead. So I think that's just how they are supposed to be. This is a double XL. They are heavy graphics, each one of them. I think I showed this one in the short where she's got like a bunch of faces on her arm. Um, and they're all in pretty good shape. Here's another one. This one is a size X, double XL as well. Oh, they have like people on the back of the tag. This one's a long sleeve, so I don't know if that one will be a little more valuable. Again, have heavy graphic. It's just the body, body on this one. The arms are blank. And then the back. The back is blank as well, but she's like... She's bleeding from her nose. I don't know. I, I don't know. And then we have another one, double XL. This one's very faint. This one does have some stains on the back, but I think, I think it'll wash out okay. I'll try to give you a close up of her face. There we go. So there's that one. It does have, like I said, a couple, couple marks on the back that are probably just surface dirt. And then the last one I have also double XL, so they probably all came from the same person. I think this one's my favorite though. And here's this one. 
Does it say anything? If it uh, looks like it could be words or a word at the bottom, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a graphic. Kind of looks like a tramp stamp. I would know because I have one. Um, but anyway, I had never heard of that brand. I just thought the graphics were really cool and I'm a graphic tea girly. I mean, I'm wearing a bootleg Gucci shirt with Ric Flair on it right now. But um, I love a graphic shirt, so I thought at the very least I could grab it for myself. Um, but then I looked up comps and these, there is a wide range of pricing on these because it depend is very dependent on the graphic. Um, the, the more stylized and weird out there the graphic is, the higher the price that you can get. So I've seen them, the average is maybe like $75. I think the minimum I saw was 65 and they go upwards over a hundred dollars to I think I saw some that sold offer of um, someone accepted an offer on a listing for $250 I've seen some sold for $200 like straight up sold for $200 so I don't quite know what I have here but with these four shirts alone plus that other one the rucking Fountain, I mean I have a couple hundred dollars probably at least right there and just some t-shirts but you know that man wanted to fight me over a harley davidson t-shirt that's worth like 30 35 dollars last month so yeah um anyway that's my haul guys sorry it was so long but hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you learned some new brands if you have any experience with this brand as always please let me know in the comments i would love to learn about it um you're saving me some time from having to research on my own um and i'm always super appreciative of all the information you guys put in my comments it really means a lot to me it also means the world to me that you even come and watch my videos in the first place but thank you so so much for watching as always if you enjoyed it at any point please give it a big thumbs up maybe let me know what your favorite item was it really helps me out here on youtube and that way i can know what types of videos you guys are interested in seeing from me and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i would love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet and i hope to see you next time bye guys